going on, all of you? Chat box. Now you have to tell me, up to which topic I have completed last day? So tell me, last day I have completed up to what topic in drainage system, drainage pattern completed. Hmm, good afternoon. I will discuss from which part I think from the first page from the catchment area to I will discuss is it correct or not all of them remain silent I don't know okay so listen from catchment area to I will start The river drain the water collected from a specific area. It is called catchment area. The river drained and the water collected from an area. So this total area from where the river collected the water okay so this is the catchment area. catchment area so this is the catchment area and also the area drained by a river and its tributaries is called drainage basin and also the boundary line separating the one drainage basin from other is known as water shed okay so this water divided also i have discussed last classes so today from the page number 23 in your book the second paragraph we will start river basin and water sets are marked by unity what happened in one part of the basin are water set directly affected the other parts the unit as a whole that is why they are accepted as a more appro most appropriate micro meso and macro planning then the Indian drainage system may divide it it is very important Indian drainage system may divide it into the two groups, the Arabian Sea drainage and the Bay of Bengal drainage. So number one, Arabian Sea drainage and Bay of Bengal drainage. Arabian Sea drainage and Bay of Bengal drainage, these are the two drainage system, two drainage group are classified on the basis of discharge of its water. Discharge of its water means river meet with Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal. Now all over the India, 77 percent river, 77 percent river meet with Bay of Bengal and 23 percent river meet with Arabian Sea. So these are the classification on the basis of discharge its water. I think this portion you can understood easily, very easy. Now the another part, this is on the basis of the size of water said, 
size of the water shed the river are three groups on the basis of size of water shed the first one is the major the first one is the major river basin major river basin the length more than 20000 square kilometer the area is very large more than 20000 square kilometer area of the particular river second it is the medium river basin Two thousand to twenty thousand square kilometer. Square kilometer. And number three, it is the minor river basin. Less than two thousand square kilometer. These are the three part. these are the three part major river basin medium river basin and minor river basin now on the basis of the size of water shed major river basin with the area more than 2 20000 square kilometer of the catchment area it includes 14 drainage basin such as ganga bhamaputra krishna tapi narmada mahi pinnar sabarmati and the barak etc and medium river basin 2000 to 20000 square kilometer the area this is the kalindi 44 rivers are there kalindi prayer meghna etc and minor river basin with the catchment area less than 200 these are very small or smallest river like ludi mahi etc these are this are the river which are included in this category so river on the basis of this on the basis of this size of water shed there are three part major river basin medium river basin and minor river basin now look at the figure 3.1 you can see the main main many river that their source are himalayan and discharge their water either bay of bengal or arabian sea and identify the rivers on the north india large rivers flowing from peninsular plate to have their origin western ghat and discharge their water in bay of bengal and then the narmada and tapi are the two large river which are exception they along with many small rivers discharge their water in the arabian sea and name this river of the western coastal region from the konkan and malabar coast on the basis of mode of origin rivers are also mode of origin nature and characteristic the indian drainage may also be classified himalayan drainage and peninsular drainage among all these classification this is the most important part on the basis of origin these are two type Well, on the basis of size three type on the basis of discharge this water two type and on the basis of origin on the basis of origin river are two type himalayan drainage himalayan drainage and peninsular drainage himalayan drainage and peninsular drainage these are the two river system which is classified on the basis of their origin himalayan drainage and river peninsular drainage and this is also very important question also this is also very important question the what are the difference between himalayan drainage and peninsular drainage or what are the difference between arabian sea group or bay of bengal group or east flowing river or west flowing river these are the important question long question which will come in your exam so you will prepare this and also this topic difference between himalayan drainage and peninsular drainage also have in your book i will discuss later now although it has the problem of including the chambal betwa son which are much older than origin than other river that have their origin in the himalayas it is the most accepted basis of the classification hence scheme has been followed in this book 
now drainage system in india so this is <coughs> on the basis of origin now i will discuss from the beginning of this part that on the basis of origin the first one is himalayan drainage himalayan drainage now anyone can type here if you know what are the rivers which will origin from himalayan mountain range kindly type here if you know the name of this river which is origin from the himalayan mountain range ganga yamuna brahmaputra ganga gangotri sanjeevani gangotri is the name of glacier not river i have told the name of the river samsu bridge is correct to ganga you know so listen the three important river which is originate from the himalayan mount in range first one is indus ganga and brahmaputra these are the three important river which is originate from the himalayan mountain range so the indian drainage system consists of a two large number of small and big river it is the outcome of the evolutionary process of the three major physiographic units and the nature and characteristics of precipitation the himalayan drainage system by himalayan drainage the himalayan drainage system has evolved through the long geological history it mainly include the ganga indus and brahmaputra river basin correct these are the three most important river which is situated in the himalayan drainage system or in originate from the himalayan mountain range since these are fed both by melting of snow and precipitation so these three river getting water from two source first one is snow melt water second one is precipitation you know what is precipitation you know what is precipitation have you heard this term precipitation the precipitation means rain gas to liquid rain rain is also part of or type of precipitation so listen what is precipitation different forms of water different forms of water which coming down toward the earth surface by the gravitational attraction is called precipitation it may be rainfall snowfall etc okay so different forms of water coming down toward the earth surface by the gravitational attraction is called precipitation is called precipitation understood so this river pass through the giant gorge carved out by the erosional activities carried on simultaneously with the uplift of the himalayas beside deep gorge these rivers also from bhise valley rapids and waterfalls in their mount mountains in their mountainous courses so different type of features also developed while entering the plain this river form meander oxbow lake flat valley flood plain buried channel and deltas also and himalayan the course of this river is highly but the plains they display strong meandering tendency and shift their courses frequently river koshi also known as soro of bihar underline this term river koshi is known as soro of bihar why river koshi is known as soro of bihar it is river koshi because it change its course no not it change its course due to that river this year also have occurred flood in bihar each and every year due to that river these areas 
getting flooded. That's why this river and lots of property and life also damage. That's why this river is known as Sorrow of Bihar. Like Damodar is also known as Sorrow of Bengal. And Kosi River is also known as Sorrow of Bihar. So the Kosi bring huge quantity of sediments from its upper reach and deposits in this plain. This course get blocked. Consequently, this river change its course. Why the Kosi River such quantity of sediments from the upper reach? Because when this river originated from the mountain, then this river entered into the plain region. On that time, the river's water velocity also decreases. As a result, those materials this river carried from the mountain, eroded, erosion, eroded materials, these eroded materials are deposited in the plain region. And also, do you think that discharge of the water in the river, generally in the Kosi in particular, remains same? Or does it fluctuate? When does the river over course receive the maximum quant quantity of water? Obviously, you know, in, during the rain, rainy season or monsoon season, that time this river getting huge amount of water. What is the possibility or negative effect of the flooding? Positive or negative effect? Positive again effect only one each and every year. This flood plain, that means the base bank of the Kosi River are getting huge amount of sediment which is held for the growing of fertility of the soil and the negative impact or negative fact is due to that flood, loss of property and life also damage. So these are the positive and negative impact of Kosi River on that particular area. Understood all of you? So why this river is known as Sorrow of Bihar? Clear? Having any queries? Okay. Now, most important part, you will mark it. If exam will, if, if during the final exam or any exam, this question will come as a long question. Evolution of the Himalayan drainage. You have to understand this. Not only that, you will read and remind this, you have to understand this topic. Evolution of Himalayan drainage system. Evolution of Himalayan drainage. Evolution of Himalayan drainage. There are difference of opinion about evolution of Himalayan river. There are different of opinions, but however geologists believe that a mighty river called Sivalik or Indo Brahma Traverse. Sivalik or Indo Brahma Traverse. A mighty river. The entire longitudinal extension from Himalaya, from Assam to Punjab, and onward to Sindh, and finally discharge into the Gulf of Sindh near lower Punjab during the Miocene period some 5 to 24 million years ago. So in Indian northern part, one mighty river are flowing like that way. One mighty river flowing, which is known as Indo Brahma Traverse. Indo Brahma Traverse. Indo Brahma Traverse, which is flowing from Assam to Punjab, you know. If you see the Indian map, the eastern part having Assam and here Punjab. Understood this portion? The from Assam to Punjab during, during the early Miocene period from today 5 to 24 million years ago. Twenty-four million years ago, one mighty river are, were flowing from Assam to Punjab, which is longitudinal direction. And the remarkable continuity of the Sivalik and its lacustrine origin and alluvial deposit consisting of sand, silt, clay, boulder, and in conglomerate support this viewpoint. It's opined that due to the course of the Indo Brahma was dismembered into the three drainage system. So what happened? This river are flowing. 
when himalaya mountain raised and that particular areas so on that time this river cores are dismembered dismembered means separated or broken or fractured and from this dismembered river cores are divided into the three main drainage system one flowing from the western part which is indus another one flowing in the middle part ganga and another one flowing eastward brahmaputra these are the three river indus ganga and brahmaputra which have originate from the indo brahma travels which was present before the formation of himalayan mountain early miocene period when the himalayan mountain uplift this course are destroyed broken and three different drainage system developed on that particular area these are indus ganga brahmaputra clear all of you clear or i will repeat it if you want i will repeat it again no problem only one student have told understood but there are 10 student present rest of them are sleeping i think just switch on the mobile and they are sleeping Yes, sir. Remy have told you. Yes, permit. Remy also sleeping. Sneha also told same. Sija also same. Oh, Sija. Rosni told clear. Sija. Yes, sir. So you have understood this. Okay. Very good. So you will remember this. The before the formation of Himalayan mountain, there was a river. Name Indo Brahma Travers or Shivalik. This river system are dismembered due to the uplifting of Himalayan mountain range and divided three part. Now, the Indus and its five tributaries in the western part, the Ganga and its Himalayan tributaries in the central part, and the stretch of Brahmaputra in Assam and its Himalayan tributaries in the eastern part. This dismemberment was probably due to the Pleistocene upheaval. in the western himalayas including the upliftment of the patwar plateau which act as the water divide in between indus and ganga system you will see the map in your book in delhi ridge north western part of country they are also having the black color line in this map this is act as a water divide which is separated two different river system indus and ganga this is the water divide and indus and the ganga system likewise the down thrusting of the malda gap area between the rajmahal hills and the meghalaya plateau during the mid pleistocene period diverted the ganga and brahmaputra system to flow towards the bay of bengal so these are the evolution of himalayan drainage system you will prepared this topic as a long question very important evolution of himalayan drainage system and next day we will start from the indus river system is an every day i will complete it one part tomorrow i will ask some question from that topic drainage those pages we have completed first two or three pages i have completed this portion you will read today in your home tomorrow if having a class i will ask question okay so student up to this up to this you will prepared next topic i will discuss from the next classes okay